Bonjour. Today we are in the region of Savoie, right in the center of the Alps, a very picturesque region of France, absolutely beautiful, with a very good cooking. One of the specialties, la blanquette de veau, is served in many of the French restaurants. It is a veal stew that is served in a white sauce with baby vegetables. A classic dessert of the region is Mont Blanc, after the mountain Mont Blanc. It is a chestnut puree that is served with a mixture of meringue and whipped cream. It is very luscious and we absolutely love it. There's also a frog leg soup that is popular in the region. Have you ever tried a frog leg soup? Well, I love it myself. But the cake that everyone knows of the region is called Gâteau de Savoie, named after the, the region itself. And my grandmother used to make that cake for our family reunions, for our birthdays. It is very simple and it is a light sponge cake. What you need to do is to batter a cake tin very, very generously. Then separate six eggs. You put the whites in a bowl and the yolk in another bowl. You beat the egg yolks with 150 grams of caster sugar and the grated zest of one lemon. You beat this until it is light and pale. You know, it must get a little bit of volume. Then in the other bowl, you beat the egg whites with a pinch of cream of tartar. And when they are very light and white, you add or you fold in 150 grams of caster sugar. Then very carefully mix the egg yolk preparation with the egg white preparation. And to that, fold in a preparation of 80 grams of plain flour and 80 grams of corn flour that you have sifted over that. Don't overmix. It is important to keep that lightness into that cake preparation. Pour this into the cake tin, flatten the top to make sure that it is fitting very well, and dust with icing sugar. Now it's time to cook. The cake cooks for about 35 minutes at 180 degrees. It smells good in the kitchen by that time. I really like to serve this cake with a, a creme anglaise. It is a, a runny custard that has no flour in it and some fresh fruit, you know, like berries in particular, but it can be anything. It is very, very lovely. Now, Christian, there is not many vineyards in the, in the Alps. Well, Gabriel, from the Alps, you have an amazing liqueur called La Chartreuse, which are made by the monks of the, the same order. That recipe is kept secret, and only two monks have knowledge of that recipe. All we know is that they use about 130 different herbs, plants, and leaves that are macerated in alcohol to make, uh, to make La Chartreuse. What is even more fantastic is the story of La Chartreuse, which was an ancient testament, an ancient document given to the monks, which was entitled An Elixir of Long Life. That was given to them in 1635. It took the monks about 100 years to actually unravel the mystery of that recipe because it was so complex that only bits and pieces were understood. Well, thank you very much, Christian. Tomorrow it is Bastille Day. The French will be celebrating in France, but also all over the world, and especially in Australia for us. I will be preparing a dish of grilled lamb with ratatouille and tapenade. Until then, au revoir.